I was just asking if we have any metaphysicians or philosophers today or mathematicians, and one came in. Oh, thanks to all. Because we need support. This, when I thought I knew everything, I came today to the stone ship. Meanings. Everything has meanings. When we speak words, these are sound. How many sounds the human mouth can make? A, E, O, O, H, H, B. Put them together in certain ways, they have meanings. All kinds of meanings. You can praise someone with them, you can threaten someone with them. Lie, you can tell the truth, you can do anything. <coughs> Meanings through sounds. I was looking today at something I never expected. Sheikh Mohideen of the Arabi Alabashi. I thought I was a great scholar of the Arabi. Came to the ship of stone. I had a vision I was on the beach of the sea. All of it was sand, sand the sea. And each piece of sand was like a magnet to stick to the next piece. And the people in my vision were taking those grains of sand and building ships on it. Sand ships, stone ships, like they were small stones. And sailing through the sea on those ships. Those stones were the letters made into words. And those words sail because he was writing most of his things in poetry, according to a certain rhythms. There wasn't classical poetry, I understood this much, certain rhythms, like in Tajweed, not Oradali, everything has a meter, a rhythm. Those meter, meters have names also. According to the rhythm and meter, the words carried meaning, and you sailed through the sea of meanings on those words. Those poems. He wrote so many. He said they came to him for inspiration. He never used his mind to think about it. This came. How to understand it? And the scholar who wrote that he translated Ibn Arabi said, I never use my mind to write it or compose it. But the scholar was using his mind to try and understand it. <laughs> How is it possible to understand the ship of stone that came by inspiration through mental process? Yet, Sheikh Alakbar left it as a legacy in his writing. Everything has meanings. And Meanings conveyed by symbols. Isn't it everything? Mathematics is that. Put symbols on the blackboard, on the computer, on the paper. Those symbols have meanings. If you're not a mathematician, you look what's that? You see a line like this, and a line like that, and like that. And it means something. Right. The building rocket ships and computers and uh, mRNAs and uh, everything with <laughs> those symbols. He said everything, everything in the in creation 
is a symbol for the one <coughs> in whose form that thing you're looking at is created. <coughs> Everyone from human beings, for instance, What's a human being? I intended to make on earth my representative, my symbol, symbolizing something from me, said our Lord. We're talking just about humans, not everything. You can go on in every direction with symbols. <coughs> Every human being symbolizes one. You're looking at the symbol in the form of which is the one, the creator. Each one of us symbolizes he, almighty, in a different form, a different way. Look to someone who created that one. Who created that one? We. We're not used to thinking in those ways. We're not look used to. Uh, how should I say? Crown says, sorry, on who one tother. Step back, turn away from it, and watch. We're so deeply in it, we're not aware that we're looking at symbols of He Almighty. We're not looking to see which thing is presented to us. Everywhere you turn, Behind the face of Allah, what's, what's that ayah? Kuli wijatun, Kuli kuli wijatun, huwa muwaliha. There's another one also. Fa'ina ma tawallu, fa'thamma wajhullah. Yeah, when? Fa'ina ma tawallu, fa'thamma wajhullah. Fa'ina ma tawallu, fa'thamma wajhullah. Fa'thamma wajhullah. Wherever you turn your face, you find the face of Allah. But we don't think like that. We're not looking at the world of symbols. We're so into it that we're not seeing like that. We're not mathematicians or metaphysicians or philosophers. We don't know what we are. Heedless ones, sleeping ones. I don't know what's talk either. Wake up and see. See. I was a hidden treasure that wanted to be known. I created my creation that they might know me. The Allah, Hadith Qudsi. Some accept it, some don't accept it. We accept it. Quran Shaykh accepts it. I was a hidden treasure, wanted to be known. I created my creation so they might know me. So many symbols. Everywhere you look, you find the face of Allah. I'm looking for Allah. You're, you're, in the, you're presented with the face of Allah. But you're not. There was a person, Sheikh Hashem told a story about one read of a Sheikh. He was always asking his sheikh, I want to meet Sayyidina Khidr al One of Allah's servants from among his endless servants that he gave some specialties to. And 
that stimulated that woman's imagination. He wants to see that, he wants to meet Khadr, reach that. Whatever he imagines, he will find when he meets Khadr. Always, 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 he was asking every time, every time. Oh, thing. What is it? Give me a so I can see. Always, always. Finally, one day, she said to him, How many times I sent him to you and you didn't recognize? How many times? I was in Cyprus once. It's not good to tell your own stories to make yourself something. I'm the idiot in this story, so it's okay. I will show right after that stuff. We used to say uh, the masjid wasn't built yet in Cyprus. We left it. We used to stay in the Sheikh's house, one of the visitors he had, the men was sleep in a little room behind the, where we used to eat. In the center of the garden, there was a tree stump, the pipe coming out and you speak it. You sit on the tree stump and make uber. You go to the imam, do your business, come back, sit on the tree stump and make your uber. It was night, night time. Moon was shining, full moon. No. I got up to answer the call of nature. I went, finished my work there, came back to make wudu. I'm sitting, looking up at the moon. Well, the Sheikh's room was on the second floor, across the courtyard. Suddenly, distracted, coming into the, the balcony, was the most beautiful woman I ever saw in my life. I was hypnotized. The woman was shining, all dressed in white, with white cloth over her head. Coming down the stairs with his She came down to the garden, closer. It was Mulana <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> How many times he came and we didn't recognize? Quran says, How many times? You saw the signs of Allah and turned away from it. How many times? We didn't. We didn't uh, get in the habit of being alert for the signs of Allah, thinking that way. We were thinking ordinary way of. And the Sheikh would always try to encourage us to think unordinary. He said, when you wake in the morning, say, oh, my Lord, I'm intending and let me to meet one of your beloved servants today. To expect to find something. To try and make us to be alert for something unusual. Not to be asleep through our Days and nights, sleepwalking. Or like the, you know, the cartoon, the person is walking in his sleep and he walks off the roof and something catches him and he calls. Like that, we're sleepwalking. Al An Al Mustaqir. The Arabs in Montreal corrected me. There was a female a voice on uh, Google Translate. Al An Al Mustaqir is the feminine. Al animal Now I am awake. Not awake. We're not thinking like that. We're 
not thinking like that. We're going through our day like robots or like animals, like horses pulling a wagon or donkeys. That's it. Take lessons from animals, Shaggy Shaggy used to say. He put me with animals for 10 years. The writer learned something. Animal only for eating nothing. Now, Rob, make me to be awake from your signs, from your symbols. Sheikh Mohidin said, for 40 years, I was praying in that wondrous world, the ship of stone. The words, he said, I came to a sea of sand and stone. Each one was like a magnet, they could stick to each other, and they were building ships from it. Those ships were the words. Sailing through the sea of meanings, the ship of words, according to the rhythms of the Arabic poetry, he wrote his Diwan in poetry. I come to the poem, I flip to the next page. That, but there was deep meanings there. He said, I was swimming and worshiping there for 40 years. In that world. We said, What world? You went to a dream world? No, in the world of meanings that we never thought of. Never thought of ship of stone. Each of those grains of sand or those stones, letters, they stick together to make words. You have a meaning. Put letters together, you have a ship. Meanings. Any kind of meanings. Meanings you never thought of. Endless meanings from the same letters. How many books in the libraries of the world? How many books in uh, Google Drive? Academia EDU. I went to ask one famous interpreter of Ibn Arabi. I knew someone knew him. Chidik, what do you think? Dr. Chidik. Abu Ghani knew him, and uh, what's that uh, Egyptian lady in Long Island? Senate. Uh, same name, like you said, but for, what's your name in Long Island? I said, ask him a question. He said, in fact, you don't need that. Everybody can go academia, edu, every book in the universe is there now. You don't need to have a pass to go to the University of Oxford University. They used to go traveling to university libraries and see, no need now. You get everything. This movie. Who's doing it? Who's trying to get meanings? Who's asking for that inspiration? He said, I wrote it without thinking about it. Sail through those meanings. How? Oh, now we can do it. All the same. We're sailing through this life. We came from somewhere, got into these bodies, these, these bodies are going to go and continue. Where? Where? How long is that journey to where? An endless journey. What's the next life? One thing, you sit in a room, tea time, mashallah, very nice. You meet in tea time, mashallah, very nice. There was a, I saw a TV show once. You ever saw Twilight Zone? There was a gambler, you know, a gambler. He likes to play cards and go to the casino and gamble. Who was 
having a bad day. Something happened, he died. He wakes up, it's the next life. And he's at the casino, his favorite place. Oh boy, I made it to heaven. This is my dream. And he went to gamble. You won. Oh boy. You won. Oh boy. You won. Playing cards. You won. Some will go up, some will go, you won. You won everything like this. Say it like this. <laughs> I never thought heaven would be like this. Somebody said, told me this was heaven. <laughs> What's the next life? But it could be. But it could be. In this life, every every happiness is mixed with disappointment. You could be so hungry, you eat the best meal. It's not, what about when the second one is better than the first? The third bite is better than the second. The fourth is better. Who can understand? What? Only there are words to. Our, for our imagination, we can't imagine. Eternity, I think Nazim used to like that word. Eternity, so in English, that was his favorite word. <clears throat> Without end. Even you're thrown into prison, if you know you're going to get out one day, then I don't care until I get out, fly free. You now what makes us to say all of that? See of meanings. That's how we were doing this. Oh, our grandfather, take us. Now, Sheikh Mohini, take us. You see your endless meanings. But no eye has seen, but no ear has heard. Those things always nothing, nothing, nothing like that gambler in the dream. You won. Endless new openings of party. It's Polana Sheikh doing his job. That's his job to sit and go. Mm -hmm. yeah. Encourage you to go more. I'm fed up. Don't be fed up. What you're seeking soon will come into Reese, that's what we call. Say Abu Khar Jelani, say in you say, urge on with your foot a little more, a little more. Encouraging his Marines to keep going, keep going. Until it opens, you can't imagine what it's going to be when it opens. He sends the rain, the mercy rain, it's a symbol also. He sends the Mercy opening after they gave up in despair. We can't reach anything. Nothing good ever is going to come. Then he says, then you will appreciate it. But, alhamdulillah. Thanks to Allah, he gave something to say. I didn't know what I was going to say. But one philosopher came, so it was okay. <laughs> Someone to speak to. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah.